Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is LC. Today, I want to talk about how to calculate the range of PE deriving by price and sell price from the rolling four quarter earning per share and the range of PE. Lastly, I will share with you how to construct a PE chart. Before we proceed, if you haven't learned how to import stock prices into Excel and how to estimate fair value of a stock by using a range of PE, I suggest you to view the videos where you can find the links in the video description. To follow the step by step in this video, you need to download the template file by clicking the link provided below. The file contains Maybank historical stock prices. Let me introduce name of these tables. This table is called stock prices. Then this table is named table underscore EPS. I will go slowly here. If you learn this seriously, I'm pretty sure your Excel skills will up five levels after this. The first step is to populate earning per share in this column with respect to earning per share of each financial year in table underscore EPS. Here is the formula. Okay. If you want to learn more about lookup function in Excel, please click the link in the video description. Excel will automatically populate the formula to the whole column. To get PE, pretty easy. Just take close, then divide by earning per share. Again, Excel will automatically populate the formula in the whole column. The next step is to calculate average. Let's start with median. We just use the formula provided by Excel. For low average, we take 25 percent percentile. Twenty five percent out, all right. Here, okay, okay. For highest average, we take seventy five percent down, seventy five percent percent down. Practically, you can choose twenty percent and eighty percent for lows average and highs average respectively. My preference is 25% and 75%. To calculate buy price, multiply the, low, the lows average with the rolling four quarter earning per share. For sell price, multiply high Average with rolling four quarter earning per share. Alternatively, you can use mean to find the range too. Practically, you should choose either median or mean. Otherwise, you will confuse with which range to use. To calculate mean, in Excel, the formula is average.
for lows average minus the mean with standard deviation for high for highest average the mean plus standard deviation to calculate the buy price multiply the lows average with the earning per share same goes to here multiply the highest average with the rolling four quarter earning per share whichever method you use remember don't execute your trade based on buy and sell prices literally apply margin of safety into your consideration and never forget to analyze growth drivers and challenges too this is what I always worry about beginners who are still looking for holy grail. Alright, we have covered how to calculate range of PE, deriving buy and sell price from rolling for quarter earning per share and the range of PE. It is better to have visualization rather than just looking at the numbers. Here comes the importance of PE chart. Let me show you how to construct PE chart. In this video, the PE chart will be based on the median. You can apply the same steps to the mean. Here, there is a table for plotting the chart. Right? Link these cells to the low median and high calculated here at this moment you probably feel strange but don't worry you will see the magic later now let's create the chart now move your mouse to this table stock underscore prices you can click any cell insert a line chart right click the line chart and click select data right remove open high low close volume and the last one earning per share okay this is still not a PE chart halfway there highlight this table this table copy click the chart then here select paste special all right before you click ok make sure you tick categories in first column this is very crucial never miss this step click ok right click the chart then select change chart type go to combo for PE series change it to line chart for the others change chart type to scatter with smooth lines Click OK. 
Now let's move the chart to a new worksheet. Right click the chart, select move chart, select a new sheet, let's name it SPE chart. Click OK. Almost there. Now we are working on cosmetic of the chart. Right click the top axis, select format axis. In the bounce options, change the maximum to one. Then in the labels options, change the label position to none. Next, right click the second vertical axis. Just press delete. Click the primary vertical axis in the axis options. Change the minimum of bounds to 11. Optional, you can change the date format here to um, MM. Why, 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 why? Okay. Besides, you can add labels to these three lines. For the first line, right click the line, select add labels. Apply the same steps to other lines. Did you see duplicate labels in each line? Okay, delete one of them. Double click one of the labels. Let's delete this one. For better visual, you can move the label to somewhere visible. For each label, untick show leader lines. You can remove the legends if you like. Just highlight the legends and then press delete. The last step is to add chart title. All done. The completed Excel is available to download. Click the link provided in video descriptions. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and share it out. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.